how to live in Joe. Ram Ram, welcome to the first show of Harp Eats. Um, so I got a lot of questions about my diet and um, what do I eat and all kinds of stuff. So I just thought, well, I love cooking and I do it every day, a few times a day. Uh, so why not just share it and see what the reactions are. So this, uh, today, we're going to cook an Indian inspired omelette. So be aware, it's not actually an omelette that is made in India or is something that Indian cuisine makes. It's just with some Indian ingredients and um, my, my kind of way to make an omelette. Uh, combining those two, that's the result of today's dinner or should I say lunch. Um, enjoy the video and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please below and I'll try to answer all of them. So first I'm gonna share the ingredients. Well, with every omelet, you gotta need eggs. Organic certified eggs. I'm all about good quality food, so eggs are very important. If you eat them a lot, try to eat organic. Uh, that's the best for your body. You got green pepper. Sweet potato, so uh, that's not really Indian inspired. I just like uh, sweet potato. It has a good taste, it's very, very nutritious. And it's also a, a more proper form of carbohydrates for me instead of bread. So I, I try to incorporate sweet potato. You get garlic, always a good, always a good choice. Onion, good choice. Some more spices, ginger, turmeric. Um, we got some salt. I use Himalayan pink salt. It's got loads of minerals, um, much better than table salt. Fresh coriander, very good. Ghee butter, love the ghee butter. So ghee butter is basically butter, but then even more processed or even more stripped. And uh, also a good choice if you are um, vulnerable or uh, allergic to uh, lactose and at last I got some paneer the thing about paneer if you saw my earlier ch channel about how to eat uh, when traveling in India uh, for muscle paneer is really a good choice uh, it's vegetarian it's cheese made from milk and it has 22 grams of protein per 100 grams I'm not sure if you can read it like this and only eight eight um, grams of fats and the carbohydrates are also very low so great source of protein and also you can really marinate them and then it becomes really tasty and at last i got cumin powder and garam masala so those are basically the ingredients let's go to the chopping welcome to my cutting board so the first thing I'm gonna do is heat up the pan, put some ghee in there, and then I'm starting to cut the sweet potato because sweet potato needs quite a, quite a while to bake before they get soft and juicy. All right, enjoy. So I just got the onion, got the green pepper, sweet potato is already in the pan with the ghee. Start to heat up a little bit, start to smell nice over here. So what I do with garlic, I always put off the, this part and then smash it so you can easily Take off the shell, and then when you get the shell off, you can just chop it like this, just like an onion. Next thing we're gonna take, turmeric. Not too much, not too little. Ginger, love me some ginger. Let's see. See them float to the beat so easily, easily, immediately. 
starting to get brown already. Good. All right, so the green pepper, the onion, ginger, turmeric. Next thing we're gonna focus on, the paneer. Love me some paneer, some Indian paneer, some Indian paneer. Oh, lo, lo. Spices. So I got some cumin powder and some garam masala. We're gonna throw that in there just to let it have some time with all the food. Like a tablespoon or two. Cumin powder, garam masala. Mm. Now everybody knows it's an Indian omelette. <laughs> the cutting of the coriander. I don't think I need this much though. I think I'll leave it like this. The eggs. I'm gonna go with three eggs. And start whisking the eggs. Now, some people only do it for a few seconds. I like to do it a little bit longer so it gets a little fluffy. Lower the heat. The eggs don't need that much heat. Stir it up. See, it's got much more wine, and just sprinkle it over there. Drop the coriander on there. Now it doesn't need that much heat now the eggs are in there. Because you don't want to overcook your eggs too much. I like to use, add a little salt at this point. And leave it rest for a little bit. All right, let's roll over the omelette. Now my trick. Boom, baby. Yes. I'm pleased to tell you that the omelette is done. So we're gonna put them on the plate. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You can just smell India from your own home while making this omelette, right? It's a good, good thing. First taste. I'm back driving my motorcycle in India. Mm. Mm. Spicy. Mm -hmm. mm. Lots of flavors, just like all the Indian food. Some vegetables, quality proteins, good fats, 
perfect lunch. <laughs> See you next time on the next show of Heart Eats. Welcome to my cutting board. <laughs> Never said that before. <laughs>